Well, many longtime News 19 viewers know the name Mary Wynn. Some remember her from her time as a News 19 reporter, and others have been following her four year long battle with breast cancer. She's been a friend to many of us here, but no one has known her longer, longer than our own Darcy Strickland. Mary and Darcy have known each other since they were 19 years old. Today, Mary is in the fight of her life after a Duke trial didn't work out as well as she would hope. Darcy sat down and talked to Mary just days ago. The latest news isn't great. Um, we had gotten to the point where I was admitted to the Duke Cancer Institute um, for this groundbreaking trial. Um, they were in the late stages and this trial was very specific. Uh, 60 people in the world, 15 at Duke, that even qualified and I was one of the 15. We started that process last September. It was, I think, December, early January that I got the news that I qualified. Um, as a matter of fact, they said I was a, an ideal candidate. <laughs> uh, instead of helping, this combo actually hurt me. It happens sometimes. Uh, so for two months, it sort of got into my chest, got into the rest of my organs. So for two months, the medication had been inside wreaking havoc. And um, it, it did a lot of damage, unfortunately, um, which is why they wanted me to come off of it right away. Instead of seeing new thick tumors develop, what we're seeing is these tiny little pieces of tumor. And they're everywhere. It makes your chest look like a fog. On Tuesday, I will go back in and start a new drug. It will not put me in remission, will not cure me, but we are hoping that it will slow the growth of the cancer to the point where we can find something else that might work. I've known for a while that I'm terminal. I haven't really told anybody. I put a lot of stock into this uh, Duke trial. It really got my hopes up, and I shouldn't have, you know, put so much into it. Um, so it was hard when we found out that it hadn't worked. And there's still a chance, you never know. But it's been four years. It's been a very long four years. And, um, you know, I love you, right? Okay. You know, I love you more than my luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Get your Let's get your Beyonce yeah. thing back on. Okay. For my long, luxurious locks. <laughs> um, we would just so. both be all snotty <laughs> together. <laughs> Let's just make sure I don't cry my eyelashes off. We'll take care of you. Don't worry. Okay. Well, yeah. right. um, so, you know, at this point, um, I've tried not to ask the question of how long because I don't necessarily want to know. You know, from here, it's just going to be get up and do what I've got to do today and know that some days I'll just be lucky to get up and that'll be enough. I know that everything possible that can be done is being done. It's sort of a weird gray area where I'm fighting, but I've made peace with whatever is going to happen. Our thoughts and prayers with Mary tonight.